Hi guys, welcome back to Frog and Toad Online. Today we're going to be reading Rain Rain Go Away by Carolyn Jane Church. The category of ASL, baby ASL today is feelings. I know that um, we have a whole bunch of feelings coming up right now considering everything going on. We're all stressed and with the news that we got this morning about the about not being able to come back until June is very heartbreaking. I know it's heartbreaking for all of us teachers and I know our parents are very sad about it and I just wanted to remind you guys that we're all in this together. I thought we would talk about feelings today and you know express those feelings with your kids and signing using sign language and just being able to communicate with them and telling them your feelings while signing will give them uh, a better understanding and they're more likely to use those signs the more they see them being used when you're talking about feelings. So the first sign is feelings. So how are, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Happy? I'm I'm feeling happy. This next sign is excited. You take your both of your middle fingers and you touch your chest using the motion upward motion excited surprised both hands or one hand blinking at the same time that you move your fingers open, you're surprised. And one of the key things about using ASL is you want to make sure that you're using facial expressions always. Not only is it very important for to give a clear understanding to the babies who are nonverbal or just learning to speak, you it's also important when talking to deaf and hard of hearing that know ASL because when you're communicating using hands and you're not using any facial expression, it is unclear um, what exactly you are talking about. And so please make sure that you are incorporating your facial expressions and even exaggerating your, your facial expressions is very important. Uh, just one thing I wanted to share with you before moving on. Um, sad. I'm feeling sad. Uh, you're using your hand as a tear down down your face. Sad. Sad. Angry. Angry. Both hands pulling from your chest upwards. Angry. Mad. Feeling mad. You just take your right hand, grab upwards towards your face. Mad. Confused. When I'm confused, I, it's uh, it's easy for me to imagine so much stuff, so many words and different thoughts going on inside my head, floating around. So confused, and you're mixing all these thoughts in your head. So it's confusing. Scared. Like you're shaking, scared, I scared, I'm scared, upset, upset, love. If you're feeling loved, or or you can say you can say love you, love feeling loved. Now I want to talk about temperature, a feeling in temperature. If you're you're hot, you take your right hand. Same thing as like mad, but you're hot downwards, hot. If it um, your tea is hot, like or you don't want them to touch um, the hot stove, or your tea or your drink is hot. Don't uh, don't touch that. It, it's hot and cold, like you're shivering, <laughs> cold, 
Make sure that you're using your facial expressions again. It's cold. That's cold outside. It's cold. Drink cold. Refrigerator. Uh, this food is cold. You're done when you're all done eating. You're all done. You sign. You sign all done. All done eating. But you can also say you're full. Uh, you, you, no more food. You're all done. You're full. You feel full. And you're just taking your right hand, touching your chin like this. You're full. Like it's uh, the food is up to here. You're so full that the food is all the way up here. You can't eat anymore. So full. You're stuck. Stuck. Move. Can't move. I'm stuck. You're just taking bunny ears to your throat. I'm stuck. And then can't. Won't. Stop. And then the last one is sick. Your two middle fingers and one, your left one touching your chest, your right one touching your forehead. Sick. I feel sick. Ooh. If you're saying to your kids, mom, mama's feeling sick. Mm. If it's your stomach, if it's your stomach, you left finger, left finger, middle finger on your stomach, sick. With that being said, I know that we're heading into warmer weather and we're stuck inside. It's raining, it's not a lot to do outside. You can't really get fresh air right now. So I thought that we could read Rain Rain Go Away. Um, I know that I'm feeling sad that it's continuing to rain. That is the sign for raining. Raining. Rain, rain. Uh oh. Are they wearing their raincoats? They don't look too happy about it raining. They're saying, go away. Go away, rain, rain. We don't want you. We want to be outside. Come again another day. They're telling the rain to go away and come again another day. They want to play outside. They, they, they don't want to play in the rain. It's all wet. They don't like being wet. The little children want to play. They just want to play. They're hiding in the tent because it's raining outside and they want to be able to go play outside in the fresh air and not be stuck inside all day. So rain, rain. Please go away. Oh, it looks like the rain's clearing up. Hooray! Yay! The rain is gone and they can play outside again. Ah, fresh air. I love fresh air. Way to reinforce your feelings with your children is to use interpreting ASL interpretation and expressions to show to give them a meaning to what you're saying and not just using words so uh, again mommy's feeling happy keep signing it's a it's a great way to show them their feelings are important and to express them to you and show you especially when they're still not speaking yet that can be really frustrating and confusing and not knowing how to express their feelings other than to just cry and if we can teach them these signs continue to show these signs to them they will eventually be able to not feel so frustrated and just be able to sign them to you and it's great not only because once they start speaking and learning how to communicate that their feelings and they don't have to use asl so much anymore it's it's important to sell, tell someone how they're feeling and not just keep it inside and feel stuck and frustrated that you can't communicate if you have any questions about the signs, please feel free to feel free to message me on Blooms. I hope that you guys are all doing well. We miss the kids so much. And Angelina and I are talking about video chat um, through Zooms. Um, we have to figure out how that works, and then we will let you guys know. Um, we 
I think it would be great for the kids to be able to interact with each other and also see our faces. And I know that we would love to see them as well. So um, stay strong. I hope everybody is healthy and safe and happy and content. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you on the next one. Bye.